Kia ora koutou. here's a question from 2014 and this looks like a really horrible piece of algebra but you can do this whole thing um, without a calculator which is good because they're asking for exact solutions and it's a question where you have to sit back and take a look before you dive into it so let's have a look at it in a, where you can read it um, and it's a bit bigger so we have to find all of the solutions of this equation so we've got a third thing here to the power of a quadratic plus another third thing here to the power of that same quadratic and it equals 14 which is not usually a very special number in maths but it turns out to be quite a good number here we have to give all of the solutions in exact form so before we go any further i want you to look and see what you notice about this question and just jot down what do you notice and then what might you wonder about doing so when i look at this i see this thing here and then i see the conjugate third and the thing that i wonder about which is going to be the key to the whole question is what happens if I multiply those two numbers together because we know that a third and its conjugate will multiply to give me a nice whole number All right, so here what do we get well we get 49 minus 16 times 3 so we get 1 so that's interesting um, and now we the hard part on this question is deciding well what use is that to me um, the other thing that I notice already is that I've got this power of a quadratic and that's just going to kind of block my vision for how I do the question so we're just going to take that and I'm going to call that quadratic k for now right call it whatever you want don't call it x that'll make your brain hurt so call it something and now I've got this I've got 7 plus 4 root 3 to the power of k plus 7 minus 4 root 3 to the power of k equals 14 so I haven't got much further but I haven't really used this fact here yet. So let's see what we can say here. Well, we've figured out that 7 plus 4 root 3 times 7 minus 4 root 3 is equal to 1. So let's um, now call this something. Call this, I call this u. So I've got u is equal to 1 over 7 minus 4 root 3. Let's go back to where we got to with that equation. I want to do something with the thirds. I've still got two different ones. But we can replace this one here with u. We just have to figure out a way to do something with this one. So we've got u times 7 minus 4 root 3 is equal to 1. So we can rewrite this one, 7 minus 4 root 3, as 1 over u. And suddenly the whole problem is going to start to collapse. So let's go back and look at the equation that we've got to fix up. It's this one here. I think this might be my messiest scholarship calculus video this year. So we have u to the power of k plus 1 over u to the power of k is equal to 14. Now some of you are going to stop watching now and go and finish this question off and that is just great if that's what you do. Just make sure that you end up getting four solutions and if you don't you better come back and keep watching. So we've got u to the power of k plus u to the power of negative k is 14. Hopefully at this point you're going to spot that this is a disguised quadratic. So nearly everything in scholarship calculus algebra comes down to a quadratic somewhere along the line. I'm going to multiply all of those terms through by u to the power of k. Right, on both sides that gives me u to the power of 2k plus 1 minus 14u to the power of k is equal to 0. Now we're going to let u to the power of k equals x. And I'm going to do that explicitly here because I've got so many weird substitutions going on already. So I've got x squared minus 14x plus 1 is equal to 0. So you can solve that how you want. You can do um, completing the square, which is what I did, or you can do quadratic formula. But doing completing the square gets me this x minus 7 squared minus 49 plus 1 is equal to 0. So I get x minus 7 squared is equal to 48. So this is looking interesting. Um, x is equal to 7 plus or minus root 48. 
which is equal to 7 plus or minus 4 root 3. So that's x. Now, remember that u to the power of k was equal to x. So we now have this. 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to u to the power of k, or 7 minus 4 root 3 is equal to u to the power of k. But let's go right back to what u was. Well, u was equal to 7 plus 4 root 3. So this one here, we have 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 to the power of k. So k equals 1. And for this one here, well, we found out all the way back that 7 minus 4 root 3 is equal to 1 over u, which is u to the power of negative 1. So that gives me k is equal to negative 1. So where have I got to? Well, we have to now go back and we have to solve for k. So what was k? Let's go all the way back up here. k was equal to this quadratic. So we're down to, um, basically we're down to year 11 or year 10 quadratics now. Because k is now equal to either 1 or negative 1. So first, if k equals 1, that means that t squared minus 5t plus 5 is equal to 1 t squared minus 5t plus 4 is equal to 0. And we get two solutions for t, t minus 4 and t minus 1. So t equals 1 or 4. Now we're going to do the same thing, working with k equals negative 1. t squared minus 5t plus 5 gives me negative 1. t squared minus 5t plus 6 equals 0. Another really nice easy quadratic. This time I get t minus 2 times t minus 3. So t is equal to 2 or 3. Okay, so there you go. So hopefully you can see that that really just wasn't that bad. But the really tricky thing is seeing where do we start. So the thing you've got to notice there is you've got conjugate thirds and you've got to find a way to put them together and get out the disguised quadratic. Thanks for watching. A couple of really hard questions coming up in about half an hour.